The question of today is, are you a yes person? Let's run my little small intro and let's get into that. <coughs> Earlier today, I was asked a question by a friend of mine. He said, Mike, are you a yes type of person? I got to thinking. I had an idea what they meant, but I wasn't sure. And I was like, Margaret, what exactly do you mean? Then she tells me. Are you the type of person that pretty much in any kind of conversation you're having and it's always, okay, yes. If anybody ever comes up to you with a question, you're like, you know, do I look bad in these jeans? Or do I look good in these jeans? You're going to say yes. You're going to be the yes person. That means you're always not going to be negative. You're always going to basically just go with the flow. You're going to tell them what they want to hear. I was like, no, I'm afraid I'm not that type of person. No, I'm blunt. Okay, let's walk and uh, talk, okay? Uh, I enjoy doing this, by the way. That's the way most of my videos have been lately. I haven't hardly used a green screen at all, and I've been videotaping while I'm down here walking. But yeah, I am blunt, but I'm not rudely blunt. That means I'm not going to tell you yes, because that's what you want to hear. If I disagree with something, I'm going to tell you I disagree, but I'm also going to explain it. And when I disagree, I'm going to do it very nicely where it doesn't hurt your feelings. But no, I'm not going to say yes just because you want to hear the word yes. I'm not a yes person. So it got me thinking, do I know any yes people? Believe it or not, I do know some yes people. Yes, I do. And they are very good people. And the reason they're yes people is because they don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. So no matter what you tell them or ask them, it's always going to be yes. Only because they don't want to hurt your feelings. It's just not their nature. Which makes me feel guilty a little bit. Because I'm blunt. I'm not going to tell you yes because that's what I think you should hear. And that's what I mean not hurting your feelings. I'll give you some examples of things that happened within the last couple months. And I'll show you my bluntness. And you tell me if it makes me rude. Probably does. Okay, not that long ago, my wife got some new clothes from a place called Lou Barreau. If I said it right, I probably didn't. And most of the outfits she gets from Lou Barreau, she looks dynamite in them. She looks excellent in them. But sometimes, you know, I don't really think she looks all that good in certain outfits. Not because it makes her look fat or anything, it's because I don't really like the design probably. Well, she has this one favorite pair of pants she has. She got, I think, from LuLaRoe. She might not have got it from them, but she loves them. She says they're comfortable and they make her feel great. So one day she asked me, she's like, Michael, does these, does these look good on me? I said, honey, you look excellent in anything you wear, but that particular clothing, I don't like it. I don't like it. The other clothing you have looks great, but that one, I don't know. It's just something about that, I don't think it looks all that good on you. I was being blunt. And my wife's like, well, thank you. She appreciates the honesty, and she knows I think she looks good in 99% of the stuff that she wears. It's just that 1%, which is that item and a few items, I don't think she looks all that good in them. Now, I think it's more so because I don't like the color of the fabric and how maybe loose it is. Yeah, I said that. <laughs> so anyway, let me give you another example real quick. Last year, a buddy of mine was wanting to fix up his porch. And he was going to do some carpenter work on it and he was going to paint it he says well mike i'm going to put this on here put that on here then i'm going to paint it all white and yellow what do you think mike and just like for my wife i could have been a yes person and says that ah, sounds awesome but no i'm not a yes person i'm blunt i said well it's going to look good joe it's going to look good after you do all the carpenter work but as far as the color, white and yellow, it's going to make it look ridiculous. 
Do you have any other colors? Please tell me that's not your favorite colors. He looks at me, he stops, he says, you know you're right, that probably will look good in another color. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with being a yes person, guys, okay? But I will admit, being a yes person does not work for everybody. The few people I do know that was yes people was my mother's grandmother, grandma, and my Aunt Sue. They were yes people. And if you ever met them, you would see why them being yes people would work for them. You know, and plus my friend Margaret actually said something else, and it makes a lot of sense. She says it drives her completely crazy having to talk to a person that's a yes person. I can see that. When you talk to somebody and you ask somebody different questions, you want their opinion. If they're yes all the time, just going with the flow, no, it just ain't going to work now, is it? And no, you don't have to be blunt like me, okay? I may be blunt, but I'm not going to say anything back to you that's going to hurt your feelings. That's not what it is at all. But I am going to let you know, well, I don't agree with that. You know, we're all different. And just because I didn't like his porch being yellow and white does not mean Jack Squat. He probably did. And I hope I didn't change his mind, which I think I did. But, you know, I, just like I can't expect everybody to have their favorite color green like me. And my wife thought she looks excellent in pants, and I told her that. I said, as long as you feel comfortable in them, as long as you like them, that's all that matters. Because to me, you're going to be beautiful no matter what. So, if you want to be a yes person, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with it either. But then again, maybe when people ask these things, instead of saying yes to it and agreeing with everything they say, if you don't feel that way, it's okay to disagree too. Just when you disagree with them, make sure you tell them why. Why? And also tell them you respect their decisions. You respect that, hey, I get the fact that you want to paint it yellow and white. That may be something you like in your eyes. Me? No. Two of my unfavorite colors is yellow and white. True. So guys, leave down in the comments, and I do read them. Are you a yes person? Or are you brutally honest? Let me know something down below, okay? Uh, I'm back at Waterway Park. You know, yesterday, it's weird because I was finishing up here and everybody and their brother decided to show up here. This is one park I can almost guarantee I'm not going to get many people at. I like walking here sometimes because at the other place I walk, after school, it's filling up with kids and the kids hanging over there now are just rude. They're rude. Yeah, I, I'm getting a little bit tired of it. I mean... It's getting to the point where I'm not wanting to walk there because of the rudeness they are. They scream, they fight with each other, and they holler out names. Yeah, kids being kids, I get it. I get it. But, I don't know. But here, it's usually freedom. Yesterday was a fluke. Go figure. Alright guys, I'm on a time frame. I'm always on a dang time frame. So I'm going to head out of here, go home, take a shower, and head back out again. So thanks for watching the videos. It means more to me than I can ever, ever tell you. So until next time, come on! Let's get out of here.